Okay, we're here with Julia Potter, who is going to tell us why she chose podiatry and what she does with her podiatry qualification now. So thank you very much, Julia. Okay. So, how did you first get into podiatry? Well, I first started doing biology in Cardiff, um, and it soon became apparent that I wasn't going to get a job doing <laughs> that afterwards. And I was sharing halls with uh, chiropractic students, as was, and I just got involved with them and it just looked really exciting and they went home with um, bones and it, the whole thing just seemed really exciting. So I looked it into some more and that's what I did. So I went to Brighton and did um, podiatry. After I finished that I then worked in the health service in Eastbourne um, for 14 months just to get some experience and whatever and then I was lucky enough to have um, the opportunity to do a full-time PhD. Oh, it certainly didn't come along very often yeah. um, and this was um, in the early 90s so I was able to do concentrate on full-time PhD, I did that and then I went into teaching so I then was teaching at Brighton and then I've moved to Southampton and I teach now and work two days a week which works really well okay getting that work-life balance and have the opportunities to work with postgraduate students and undergraduate students and do things like um, the past project as part of the society so it's all okay really exciting. brilliant so on a sort of day-to-day -day at university what sort of things do you get involved with with teaching and pastoral care and all that sort of stuff what, what's it what does your day look like um well no two days are the same yeah so um Sometimes I will do um, a batch of teaching, so it'll be a three-hour session, which you will need to either do some pre preparation for. I do quite a lot of practical work, so I work okay. with teams. So there's a team of us, which actually is really nice because we sort of bounce ideas off each other uh, and try and engage the, the students so that they are thinking much more about why they're doing things rather than us telling them what to do. Okay. Yeah. Um, I do quite a lot of admin type work with being admissions lead, so attending meetings, looking at UCAS forms and that type of thing. I will do meet with students, personal tutor, uh, they come and meet with me and either talk through sort of issues that they have or they just want to talk about um, how to do assignments and that sort okay. of thing. Yeah. Um, I also meet up with colleagues because it's important for us to sort of know what's happening um, yeah. uh, in, in different walks because we're all doing different things. Yeah, so sure. Doing, um, more postgrad uh, activities. And okay. Things. Yeah, yeah. So if somebody now is thinking about getting into podiatry as a career, have you got any sort of bits of advice that you might give them about getting in? Um, shadowing experience is always really useful but it's not just about actually just doing the experience it's what it means to you what you can see yourself doing and thinking about the long-term um, aspects of, of the profession when we interview students they will always have certain ideas about what they want to do yeah. and I know that I wanted to be a pod surgeon and that hasn't happened um, a because I'm a bit squeamish so you, know, you don't <laughs> know what's going to happen and I think yeah. that that's the beauty about it and certainly with podiatry there is so many options to do lots of different areas and you can you know make it make it your own really yeah. so it's that shadowing experience and talking to practitioners uh, is really yeah. important okay that's brilliant thanks very much for your time okay.